Hi everyone. Thank you for joining us today for a special art session with Wattle Glen Primary School. My name's Eliza and I'm the art teacher there. And I'm really excited to have you with us today as we take a little bit of an exploration and a journey and create some art. So I'm hoping that by now you will have this special package with all the things you're going to need to create your art today. To start our artwork today, I want to introduce you to someone really special at our school. Her name is Mr. Hahn and she is our prep teacher. So come on over Mr. Hahn, let me introduce you to everybody. What? That's not Mr. Hahn. Hang on a minute, something's going on here. Go away, go away. Okay, here we are. Let's try this again. Mr. Hahn is going to read a story to you today to introduce us to our art topic, which is going to be all about Elmer the Elephant. Now, you might have heard about Elmer the Elephant. He's a very colourful character. If you haven't, I can't wait for you to hear all about him now. Hi, I'm Mr. Hahn. I'm the Prep 1 teacher at Waterburn Primary School. Today, we're going to read Elmer the Elephant together. Elmer by David McKee. Alma. There once was a herd of elephants. Elephants young, elephants old, elephants tall or fat or thin. Elephants like this, that or the other. All different but all happy and all the same colour. All that is except Alma. Alma was different. Alma was patchwork. Alma was yellow and orange and red and pink and purple and blue and green and black and white. Alma was not elephant colour. It was Alma who kept the elephants happy. Sometimes he joked with the other elephants. Sometimes they joked with him. But if there was even a little smile... It was usually Alma who started it. One night, Alma couldn't sleep for thinking, and the think that he was thinking was that he was tired of being different. Who ever heard of a patchwork elephant, he thought. No wonder they laugh at me. In the morning, before the others were really awake, Alma slipped quietly away, unnoticed. As he walked through the jungle, Alma met other animals. They always said, good morning, Alma, each time. Alma smiled and said, good morning. After a long walk, Alma found what he was looking for, a large bush, a large bush covered with berries, a large bush covered with elephant colored berries. Alma caught hold of the bush and shook it, and shook it so that the berries fell on the ground. Once the ground was covered in berries, Alma lay down and rolled over and over, this way and that way, and back again. Then he picked up the bunches of berries and rubbed himself all over, covering himself with berry juice until there wasn't a sign of any yellow or orange or red or pink or purple or blue or green or black or white. When he had finished, Alma looked like any other elephant. After that, Alma set off back to the herd. On the way, he passed the other animals again. This time, each one said to him, Good morning, elephant. And each time Alma smiled and said, good morning, pleased that he, has, he wasn't recognised. When Alma rejoined the other elephants, they were all standing quietly. None of them noticed Alma as he worked his way to the middle of the herd. After a while, Alma felt that something was wrong. But what? He looked around, same old jungle, same old bright sky, 
same old rain cloud that came over from time to time and lastly same old elephants Alma looked at them the elephants were standing absolutely still Alma had never seen them so serious before the more he looked at the serious silent still standing elephants the more he wanted to laugh Finally, he could bear it no longer. He lifted his trunk and at the top of his voice shouted, Boo! The elephants jumped and fell always in surprise. Oh my gosh and golly, they said, and then saw Alma helpless with laughter. Alma, they said, it must be Alma. Then the elephant, other elephants laughed too, as they had never laughed before. As they laughed, the rain clouds burst. When the rain fell on Alma, his patchwork started to show again. Oh, Alma, gasped an old elephant, you've played some good jokes, but this has been the biggest laugh of all. It didn't take you long to show your true colours. We must celebrate this day every year, said another. This will be Alma's day. All elephants must decorate themselves and Alma will decorate himself elephant colour. That is exactly what the elephants do. On one day a year, they decorate themselves and parade. On that day, if you happen to see an elephant, ordinary elephant colour, you know it must be Alma. Thanks, Mr. Hahn. I loved that story. Now, here we go. We're about to start our art. So together, we're going to create something like this. Now, when I say like this, that just means that we're going to learn some of the steps. But if yours doesn't look the same, that's okay. So what you will need now is all of those things in that pack. So in that pack, you should have a, let me see if I can get them, a white piece of paper, a black piece of paper, a very cool picture of Elmer the elephant, some orange crunchy paper, tissue paper, and a little packet. Now, all of the things you need most of the things you need are in that in that pack but you will also need one other thing that I haven't put in there and that's a little container that you fill with a little bit of water now when you have all those things ready lay them out on a table and let's get ready to art if you need to maybe pause the video have a stretch and then let's get into it and now we're ready to do the next part so what I need you to do is is get the colored paper and the cotton wool and the Alma picture ready to go. We're going to use a pair of scissors here, which I didn't mention earlier. So very carefully cut around the picture of Elmo. You can get someone to help you with this part. Now, the little birds are a little bit tricky to cut. So it doesn't matter if I'm not really close. I can cut a little bit further away from the edge. And if you'd like to have a go, you can cut in between the legs as well, or you can leave that as it is. Place your Alma down and then start to pick up those coloured pieces of paper. Now we're not going to glue the coloured pieces of paper down, we're going to do something else much more interesting. But first what I need you to do is to either tear up into pieces or use a pair of scissors to cut those coloured pieces of paper into small little shapes. They could be squares or rectangles, it doesn't matter as long as they're small shapes. So cut them all up, ready for the next step. So we are not using glue. We are going to put these colored pieces of paper down with some water, but we're not gonna leave them there. Later on, we're gonna pull up those pieces of paper and something magical will happen. So I've covered my Elma with some water using the cotton wool dipped in the water. I'm then 
adding a little bit more water there, but then I'm going to start to stick down on the watery Elma some of those colored pieces of paper. Now what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to fill in all the white so I want it to have paper all over it and every now and then I might need to add a little bit more water if it's dried out but I'm going to try and mix it up and you can see that I'm trying to not let the two same colors touch each other I'm really trying to spread out those colors and fill in all those gaps. Now once I've got it so that there's no white gaps left I'm then going to get another cotton ball if I need it and I'm going to wet it again and I'm going to pat down over the top of the coloured paper. Now what this is going to do is it's going to make the water soak through the paper all the way through to the white paper underneath so that when we lift it something magical will happen. Just not actually a little bit similar to what happened to Elmer when he was dancing in the rain. So let's lift up the pieces of paper. Now those pieces of paper are going in the bin so you don't have to worry too much about them. Keep pulling them off. Peel them off. You might need to scratch them off with your fingernail. Voila! Look what happened. No longer plain Elmer anymore. There's rainbow, rainbow Elmer. Now, pop Elmer aside to dry. We're going to use our hands now to find a rough surface in the house to place our white piece of paper on. We're going to turn our crayon on, not on the tip, but onto the side. And then we're going to use the crayon to rub across the surface of the white paper. What's going to happen here is that whatever is underneath the paper will cause the top, the, the crayon part of the paper to have a print on it. So it will print whatever is underneath. So I can see that underneath my piece of paper, there was a rough surface. Can you see all the little bumps and lines that were underneath? So this is going to be our lovely textured background for our Elma. So once that's done, I want you to flip it over and find a little bit of glue that you can pop on the back, cover it with some glue, and then get the black piece of paper that was in your art pack. Flip over the textured background and pop it onto that black piece of paper. Push it down with your hands. Make sure that the glue's nice and stuck. And you're done with the background. But we need to go and find where we put Elmer now. Hopefully Elmer is nice and dry. Use your glue again to flip over, pop some glue on the back and then glue Elmer on to your background. Again we're going to push it down and make sure it's stuck well. So we're almost done but for the last few steps we need that crunchy orange piece of paper and we're going to tear it up into some smaller pieces or you can cut it if it's easier and then you're going to twist it round and round and round between your fingers and pop it down in the background. I thought and keep going until you're happy with your artwork. I thought they looked like butterflies, but they could be um, sparkles or fireworks or little celebratory streamers in the background as well. So there's only one last thing to do. We've forgotten to put on Elmer's little googly eye. So after you've completed sticking all of those down, go back to that plastic bag that had all the other things in it and see if you can find that lonely little eye and then whoop almost there looking good so where is that plastic bag grab that plastic bag there is that little eye get it out of there pop a bit of glue on Elma on Elma's where his eye should be stick it down and look at that we're done awesome work everyone
thanks so much for joining us at Waddle Glen for our special art session together. See you later.